jumping right into week three of the intro to media communications and technologies online class uh, for week three the first assignment was the digital timeline I personally struggled with this one as well it I couldn't connect to it to begin with and I didn't give myself enough time to do the assignment it was just really downhill everything with this assignment I also struggled because I couldn't share it properly when it was time to turn in the assignment. Uh, the web, the 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 website I decided to use for the digital, uh, for the digital timeline, it wanted to charge me to share it, and that really kind of bummed me out. And I wasn't going to start all the way over, so I made it an Excel document and turned it in. Uh, if that takes points off, I understand. Um, the notes I wrote for that assignment were care more. Uh, wasn't a fan last minute and take it more serious so in that I'm saying uh, I should have cared more about the assignment though I wasn't a fan I still should have cared more uh, it was very last minute like I said I didn't give myself enough time and take it more seriously and that's what I want to do in the future if I ever have to do more digital timelines I want to take it more seriously I want to take the time to really dive into it really make sure that I'm getting the work done that I need to get done for it um, yeah, I was, I was partly embarrassed by my work, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, we had to... This this one was a little more fun for me. Uh, comparing the Burma Shave to the Dollar Shave Club uh, and a recent campaign and my reaction to it. Uh, comparing the Burma Shave to the Dollar Shave Club was really exciting for me. <laughs> um... I like comparing things, especially things in the entertainment industry. And though they are two very different styles of uh, advertising, they both work very well. I really enjoyed that, uh, comparing them. The recent campaign was uh, that I talked about that got a reaction out of me was the release of the Apple iPhone 8 and the Apple iPhone 10 or X, however you say it. Uh, I, well, I watched it live when they announced it. It, in modern terms, it had me shook, but to explain how it really, how it really made me feel, I was just in awe of how far technology had come, and that, that was really my reaction, just being in awe. It was a really fun excitement to do. Um, the notes I put were, give more details, try harder, care more. I did care about the assignment. I don't think I cared enough to dive as far into it as I could have. Um, having to stay between a certain amount of words really didn't help, <laughs> but it got done. Uh, give more details. I guess that has to do with the word count, but I, I'm sure I could have toiled a way to get the details I needed to out of it. Uh, and try harder. That's my personal goal every time I do something is to try harder every time so if I ever have to do another comparison like this I want to try harder to make sure that I truly am getting everything out that I need to as far as uh, as far as the comparison goes now we also for the I guess the final project um, we had to basically create it was kinda of like creating a website as a team and my portion of it was the basic backgrounders research um, it was kind of last minute for me. I, I dropped the ball in this one and I don't have an excuse as to why. Um, the notes I have for her last minute didn't take it seriously and learn more learn more about it. Now, um, I didn't connect to this one as well. For some reason, research things and I don't get along. It could be a lazy American thing. Or not American. It just could be a lazy me thing. I'm not sure. Uh, I got it done. It was kind of last minute. Um, I admit I didn't take it as serious as I could have. But from what I had to do with it, I actually feel like I learned... I'm not going to say I learned enough, but in the future, if I have to do another, you know, if I have to make a backgrounder, uh, I feel like I know enough to get me going, but I that's another thing I want to dive into if I'm going to do it again. I want to be able to make sure that 
the person doing the press release has enough info from me to make sure that they can do the correct press release or announce everything correctly. I know the backgrounder is really uh, like a overview kind of of what the press release is going to be and you give the backgrounder to the, the media and all that and I just I feel like in the future if I have to do it again I will I won't be prepared enough and so I may keep looking up background information just to make sure that maybe something I'm interested in because it caught my attention but like I said I still couldn't connect to it it's hard to say but that is week three in a nutshell oh and we had to talk about our team as well uh, working with, I worked with two people that I've been working with all week, and on a school standpoint, they are good people to work with. I would always recommend, I hope I can do this honestly uh, with every class now, is work with people, and I'm hoping to work with some of these people again. They're great, they're always on point, they get their stuff in on time, and those are the kind of people you need in your circle, you know? But anyway, that's week three, everything went great. I'm looking forward to my next course.